guys, this is H-Town Kick 713 coming with a new review today of the Nike Air Raid, aka Peace Model, aka Urban Jungle. So guys, the official colorway of the shoe is black, which we see on the upper portion of the shoe and the sides. Also, they're going with a dark gray, which is the forefront part of the shoe and throughout the uh, middle section of the shoe and the rear. Also, they're going with pine green, which is on the inner portion of the shoe. Of course, not the official colorway, but definitely this was a multicolored shoe and very made fam very famous here. This kind of this tri tribal African print, which also was a very popular fashion statement back in the early 90s. So this shoe here, you know, made famous by kind of one of the greatest uh, crossover players in the game, Tim Hardaway, played for Golden State, and he was part of that uh, great, you know, trio out there, Run TMC with Chris Mullen and. Mitch Richmond. It was definitely uh, great to watch all those three play together. Also, this shoe became popular in the 90s from a commercial uh, made by uh, Spike Lee. And also, uh, he actually had a jacket that kind of resembled these colors that matched up with this sneaker as well. And the designer of the shoe during that time was uh, Tinker Hatfield. Of course, some of you may know him from the very famous Jordan shoes and lines that he's designed throughout the years. So this particular shoe, you know, I guess the one thing very noticeable about it was um, it was made for outdoor use, and that was its main purpose. It's actually, you actually see markings on the rear bottom of the shoe saying for outdoor use only. It's actually on the rear of the shoe. Actually at the time, you know, if you wore this indoors, it would actually you know, possibly mark up the court, you know, if you wore this on indoors. Also on this shoe, probably the most iconic piece of uh, the shoe is still prevalent today is the strap, the X strap that goes in the uh, front porch of the shoe. Kind of makes you kind of think um, if this kind of was on the Jordan 8 as well, or where that kind of came from, or where the Jordan 8 kind of picked it up from as well. So if we take a look, take a look close at this, um, this gray here on the front portion of the shoe, if you take a look at that, that's the uh, Kind of like a leather, synthetic leather. And also on the top portion, this is a different material. It feels like kind of like a cloth nubuck type material there to me. Also on the strap, you know, it's kind of that nylon type of strap, you know, which you see kind of thing sometimes, you know, to secure items. That's what we we have here. And actually, the strap, um, you know, I was totally kind of it was kind of made because you know back in the days the. Uh, the outdoor players would tape up their ankles, and this was here to design that, give that lockdown and secure fit into the shoe. Uh, was the purpose of this strap, and also on the front portion, these kind of they were like bumper guards here. That's why this this is kind of prevalent on the uh, outdoor use for protection. We kind of looked at the rear portion of the shoe. You know, they have that warning symbol again for outdoor use only. Of course, they kind of nice. They kind of have a pull-up strap here in the rear, and it's. Of course, in that uh, kind of tribal African print there as well. So let's take a look close at that print that's going along the uh, bottom portion of the midsole. Definitely, this is the makes it really pop. I like how it kind of, you know you kind of get plain on the top portion in terms of the gray and the blacks, but the colors here then really pop out. Look at the rear there. And let's take a look at the outside of the portion of the shoe. So if we look at the, the bottom sole, we take a look at that, you know, it says Air Raid, of course like I mentioned before, for outdoor use only, and like I said, this was sort of like really designed for outdoor use specifically. It's kind of flat throughout the shoe to give that uh, cork feel uh, for the outdoor use. And if we look at this, kind of go up towards the strap, and it's, you know, they said mentioned this is kind of like the, the AK, the P symbol um, model, of course the P symbol and the multicolor up there at the top. And if we look at the tongue, you know, kind of have that uh, Nike Air logo and the urban type of uh, design. Now, one thing I would say about this shoe, you know, it's uh, you know, it's, it's definitely a heavy shoe. You know, well built. If, I mean, if you look at even inside the, uh, the padding here on the inside, it's very, very thick. Uh, as opposed to some of the shoes you see today, of course, with that strap is really going to be you locking it down in in that shoe. Uh, definitely had some uh, great fashion that went with it during that time. 
you know, one thing, uh, I guess if I had to score the shoe, you know, in terms of design, you know, we're here in the 2014 year. This is almost, I mean, back in 1992. This shoe is still too relevant today. You know, the quality on this shoe is, is very uh, on par and on point. So, uh, definitely uh, for a retro, you know, it, it still you know, makes uh, sense today to come out with this model. And if I had to score it, like I said, I'll give this, this out of a scale 100. I would scale this one to 95 in terms of design because it still works in today's world. And uh, some of the features are just unique and iconic. Going way back to the days of Tim Hardaway. In terms of uh, kind of weight, you know, uh, it is a heavy shoe. You know, I can score that maybe like 70. It's one of the heavier shoes out there. Just maybe because it is a retro. Also, um, in terms of uh, comfort, you know, it's, it's, it's not an uncomfortable shoe, but it definitely um, doesn't have the um, you know, technologies of, of today's current models like the Air Max, Zoom, or, or Luna Lawn or anything of that nature. So comfort, you know, I'm going to give it a kind of 75 there just because, you know, it's a retro, so they're not going to have the technologies in it. Um, probably the only uh, low score I'd give this word to in terms of is probably breathability. I'll probably give that a 70. You know, this, this shoe's not really going to lend itself opinion to being very breathable. Of course they do have kind of a mesh here so you may get some of that on the side but at least the upper portion of the shoe definitely uh, it's very thick so uh, well made but uh, the breathability would definitely be a concern. For me. In terms of traction like I said this is kind of made for outdoors so um, you know, probably do very well with the black top ports. I score that quite high in terms of 90. In terms of quality um, this was a solid build. Um, it came out solid to me and, you know, scored it up in, in the 90 range. So, uh, definitely an iconic shoe. You guys, I'll do it on feet. Hey guys, kind of just wrap it up. You know, I also did get the matching socks. They're the uh, Nike Digital Print Socks. The, uh, the Elite Performance ones. So they definitely, um, take a look. Definitely got probably one of the best design socks I've seen from the Elites. Definitely got that multicolor you know, tribal type of design going on with it definitely see it's uh, going to match up well. And I think also with the, the shoe being a high percentage of the uh, black and gray, you know, the socks will kind of match and contrast well with the multicolor at the bottom portion of the shoe. So I'll do on feet with that guy so you guys can take a look at how that looks. Uh, well guys, let me know what you guys think. Did you guys caught up or not? Uh, but I appreciate your time. Uh, subscribe, like. You guys have a great day. Thank you.